What is going on everybody in Mask Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna to be doing a speed test between the Blue G90 and the Moto G Power. Stay tuned. Going to be a speed test between the blue g90 and the moto g power and to get things started i want to discuss the specifications on paper for each device now with the blue g90 here we're going to have the helio a25 chipset inside this device there's an outer core chipset and i believe it's uh clocked at 1.8 gigahertz some might be clocked a little bit faster or a little bit slower than others but you know whatever the gpu is going to be the power vr rogue ge8320 whatever that is now this device in particular is gonna have four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. And out of the box, the device is gonna be running Android 10 with security patch of February 5th, 2020. Now with the Moto G Power here, we're gonna have the Snapdragon 665 inside of this device. And it's an optical chipset as well. And the GPU is gonna be the Adreno 610. Now this device is gonna have four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Out of the box, the device is gonna be running Android 10 with security patch of May 1st, 2020. So as far as the specifications on paper, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to the Moto G Power because the Blue G90 has a more budget friendly CPU inside of it, which is the Helio A25. And the Moto G Power has the 665, which is more of a mid range processor. So based off that, I'm gonna have to give this to the G Power and it's gonna have a score of one while the Blue G90 has a score of zero. Let's get to the next part. So with this next part of the speed test here, what we're gonna be doing is an application opening and RAM management test to see which device can open up the applications that I open on each one faster than the other. And then afterwards, we test the RAM to see which one of these devices can hold the applications better in the background. Let's go ahead and get that started right now. The first application we're gonna open up here is Play Store, and we're gonna do that in three, two, one. That goes to the blue G90. The next application we're gonna open up here is YouTube, and we're gonna do that here in three, two, one. That was a tie there. The next application we're gonna open up here is Amazon, and we're gonna do that here in three, two, one. That goes to the blue G90. The next application we're gonna open up here is Best Buy, and we're gonna do that here in three, two, one. That goes to the Moto G Power. Facebook, three, two, one. That goes to the Moto G Power. The next application we're opening is Instagram in three, two, one. That goes to the Moto G Power. The next application we're gonna open up here is Spotify in three, two, sorry about that. <laughs> I had to make sure I was aligned perfectly. Uh, that goes to the Moto G Power. And the final application we're gonna open up here on each device is gonna be Call of Duty Mobile. And we're gonna do that here in three, two, one. That goes to the Moto G Power. So the Moto G Power ended up opening up most of those applications faster than the Blue G90. It's just that when it came to opening up the game, that's when you saw the 665 go to work there and open up that game faster than the Blue Phone. So let's go ahead and test the RAM out to see which device can hold these applications that we open better. First one is gonna be Play Store, held by both. YouTube, held by both. Amazon, a refresh on both. Yeah, it was a refresh on both. Gotta be fair here. Best Buy, held by both. Facebook, held by both. Instagram, held by the G90. Spotify, held by both. And last but not least here, Call of Duty. Held by both in the background, which is actually kind of impressive. 
So after completing the application opening and RAM management part of the test here, I've concluded that I'm gonna give it to the blue G90 here. Now don't get me wrong, the G Power opened up more applications faster than the G90 here, but when it came to the RAM management, the G90 actually held all of them, especially when it came to Instagram. It held the application better in the background. So because it didn't have as many hiccups with testing the RAM, I'm gonna put that over the G Power here. And so right now, the G90 has one and the Moto G Power has one as well. Let's get to the next part of the test. Now, there's gonna be a little bit of a change in this particular speed test video here because for some reason, I'm not able to run the Atutu benchmark and uh, actually get a completed test for the G90 here. So we're just gonna go off Geekbench uh, 5 and run the speed test here. So yeah, let's get that started. So with the blue G90 here, you can see that we got a single core score of 141 and a multi-core score of 844. Not the best performance, of course, but can't really get too upset about it. It is a budget phone. I paid 100 bucks for this device, in case you didn't know. For the Moto G Power here, we got a single core score of 309 and a multi-core score of 1,263. So between both phones, you have to clearly give it to the Moto G Power. Let's go ahead and get to the speed test here to see which device can pull down the faster data speeds. I'm curious about that. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and run the test on each phone. I'm gonna do it one at a time. And uh, we're gonna determine the winner based on who has the higher download and higher upload speeds. We're gonna get that started here in three, two, one. The G Power or the G90 is gonna be first. So being that both devices are done with the speed test here, you can see that in the blue G90, we got a 25.5 on the down speed and a 16.8 on the up. And on the Moto G Power, we got a 28.4 on the down speed and a 20.9 for the up. So pretty clear, if you ask me, this has to go to the Moto G Power, faster data speeds and uh, a little bit faster on Geekbench here. So, and uh, as of right now, it has a score of two, while the G90 has a score of one. Let's get to the next part of the speed test. So with this next part of the speed test here, what I'm gonna be doing is installing three of the top applications here from the Play Store. And whichever device installs two of those three applications faster than the other automatically wins this part of the speed test. And the first application we're gonna install here is Zoom Cloud Meetings. And we're gonna do that in three, two, one. Who is going to install the application first? These phones are pretty evenly matched. Wait, wait, nope, the G Power is installing. And it installs pretty fast too, so let's see. Yep, that goes to the Moto G Power. And so the next application we're gonna install here is T-Mobile Tuesdays. We're gonna do that here in three, two, one. Who is gonna install this application first? Which device loves T-Mobile more? Looks like the Moto G Power loves T-Mobile here. Oh wow, it's already installing. Poor blue, oh man. That goes to the Moto G Power. So as you saw there with the application install test, the Moto G Power took that with no problem at all. It looks like it was actually in love with the T-Mobile Tuesday application there for a second. Maybe it was just me and what I saw, I don't know. That has to go to the G Power, clearly it installed two of those three applications faster. So as of right now, it has a score of three and the G90 has a score of one. Let's go ahead and get to the final part of the speed test here and close out the video. So with this final part of the speed test here, it is quite simple. All we're gonna be doing is simply turning the phone off and turning it back on, basically a restart test to see which device can do that faster. Now, if you're new to the channel here, uh, just to give you a heads up here, the G Power is notoriously slow at rebooting here. So I don't know who's actually gonna win this part of the speed test here. Let's go ahead and find out in three, two, one i'm going to say i'm gonna say the blue i'm gonna say blue's gonna win here so let's see what happens and that goes to the blue g90 poor g power so slow at booting up so that's going to conclude the speed test video here between the Blue G90 and the Moto G Power. Three for the G Power and two for the Blue G90. And overall, it was a pretty close speed test here. Uh, a lot of people are probably surprised with how good the performance is on the Blue G90 here. But the fact that I paid 100 bucks for it and the G Power is about 250 The performance difference does make sense, but 
the fact that it was able to keep up with the application opening test and uh you know it got obliterated in the install test but as far as the on paper it wasn't very much different in the specs there uh but with the final test of course that's where you saw that the g power lacks in like it's not a fast phone as far as rebooting i don't know what that is it's kind of weird actually but yeah the score ended up being three to two so mask squad let me know in the comment section below who did you think was going to win this speed test video here did you think it was going to be the moto g power or did you think the blue g90 had a chance let me know and if you're new to the channel here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any coverage when it comes to doing speed test videos with budget devices like the Blue G90 and the Moto G Power. And Mask Squad, well, like this video here so that other people just like you can get a little bit more help when it comes to researching budget devices like the Blue G90 or even the Moto G Power. And last but not least, share this video with your friends and family and let them know that not all Android cameras suck. It is just not true. But until then, my name is Max Rock. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, y'all. Deuces.